sensory systems. Chapter 16 Ear anatomy Three major areas of ear. 1. Outer ear. Pinna, directs sound waves toward auditory canal. External auditory canal, produces ear wax that prevents foreign particles from entering. Tympanic membrane, eardrum, vibrates in response to sound waves and sends signal to middle ear. Separates outer and middle ear. Ear anatomy 2, middle ear, oval window, round window. Eustachian tube, links middle ear to throat. Opens in response to swallowing or yawning. Equalizes pressure in middle ear cavity with air pressure. Important for proper vibration of eardrum. Ossicles, transmit vibration of eardrum to oval window. Malleus, incus, and stapes. Ear anatomy 3, inner ear or labyrinth, bony labyrinth, vestibule, cochlea, semicircular canals, membranous labyrinth, sacs and ducts within the labyrinth. Inner ear vestibule, central cavity of labyrinth, two membranous sacs, saccule, utricle, important in maintaining balance. Respond to movement of head and change in gravity. Inner rear semicircular canals, anterior and posterior at right angle. Lateral lies horizontally. Semicircular duct, communication with utricle. Contains ampulla at one end. Maintain balance. Inner rear cochlea. Snail, cochlear duct. Organ of corti, receptor region for hearing. Spiral lamina, divides cochlea into three regions. Scala vestibuli, next to oval window. Filled with lymph. Scala media, cochlear duct. Fsailed with endolymph. Scala tympani, next to round window. Inner ear cochlea, bacilla membrane in cochlear duct. Supports organ of corti. Properties of sound. Sound is vibration that creates pressure disturbance. Propagated by compression of molecules. Speed determined by medium. Sound wave is produced by a series of molecule compressions and rarefactions, low pressure areas. Moves outward in all directions. Energy transferred in direction of sound wave and as the wave energy declines, sound disappears. Properties of sound. Sine wave can be used to infer frequency and amplitude. Distance between two consecutive crests is wavelength. Wavelength constant for a particular tone. Frequency. Number of sine waves that pass a given point in a given time. Smaller wavelengths have higher frequency. Human hearing is 20 to 20,000 Hz. Best between 1400 and 1500 Hz. Perceived frequency is pitch. Increased frequency means higher pitch. Properties of sound amplitude, height of sound waves. Corresponds to intensity. Pressure differences between compressed and rarefied areas. Loudness, person's interpretation of sound intensity. Sound transmission in ear. Signal for sound must reach the auditory cortex before sound can occur. Steps involved in sound transmission. 1. Sound enters auditory canal and hits tympanic membrane, eardrum. 2. Tympanic membrane vibrates at the frequency of the sound wave. 3. Vibration is passed to ossicles and sound is amplified. 4. Ossicle activity causes oval window to vibrate and fluid in cochlea to move in waves. Sound transmission in ear. 
5. Bacilla membrane swings up and down and round window swings in and out. 6. Bacilla membrane vibrates. If vibration occurs near the oval window then high frequency. If vibration occurs near the cochlear apex then low frequency. Difference due to size of fibers. Sound transmission in ear. 6. Movement of bacilla membrane causes hair cells in organ of cordy to bend. If hair bends toward tallest hair, then get depolarization. Neurotransmitter release. Cochlear fibers transmit impulses to brain for auditory interpretation. If hair cells bend away from tallest hair, then hyperpolarization. From ear to brain. 7. Impulses from organ of cordy travel to cochlear nuclei of the medulla. 8. From medulla impulses travel to superior olivary nucleus than to the inferior colliculus. 9. From inferior colliculus impulses go to medial geniculate bodies in the thalamus and then to auditory cortex. Inferior colliculus also sends impulses to superior colliculus for reflex action. Hearing disorders Conduction deafness, sound cannot reach fluids of inner ear. Earwax buildup. Ruptured eardrum. Middle ear inflammation, ear infection. Sensorineural deafness, damage to auditory structures and brain. Loss of hearing receptors. Age. Sudden explosive loud noise. Prolonged exposure to high intensity sounds.